Hey, this is Mark Williams with Swine Life Barbecue. We got a whole chicken in front of us. I'm gonna show you my favorite method to cook a whole chicken. We're gonna get it over here on our SNS kettle. Of course, we got the rotisserie attachment, gonna get us a great skin, but don't be afraid to do this recipe on any grill you have. Let's get started. So for this recipe, the first thing we have to do is get our kettle fired up. We're gonna get some Royal Oak all natural briquettes placed in the chimney, tumbleweed underneath and get it lit. And we're gonna let that chimney get lit while we get this bird on the skewer. So I have my skewer attachment. We'll slide this one in off, turn our bird around. Of course, go straight through the middle. We've already got all the neck, all the innards, everything's out of it, just like that. Push it pretty tight, that way it holds it good and tight. Don't let that bird flop around. Next thing we do, we got our butcher's twine, tie the legs up and pull them close together. We're just gonna double knot it. There ain't no fancy butcher twine tire. Cut the excess off. So check it out, our coals are ready. Get these dumped in the bottom of this kettle. We'll be getting this bird on. Take your little charcoal shovel or something. Just gonna rake the coals from one side to the other. That way it's not directly under the bird. Check it out, got him skewered up good. We're gonna carefully put him in the rotisserie motor, just like so. Already a turning, spray it good with some duck fat. Be careful, cause it will flame up on you. Letting that bird sit out, that skin kind of air dried. I got my bottom vents on this kettle just barely open. Just because we're cooking with a lot of coal, we do want it to get a little warm. Got our Mississippi grit. As the bird turns, it's gonna get a good layer on it. Ready to get the lid on. Same thing with the top vent. We're just barely cracking it open. We're gonna watch this temperature dial. Should get up about 375, 400, maybe settle in at 375. About an hour and a half, this bird will be done. So we checked on the bird at an hour. It was sitting at about 165 in the thigh, about 150 in the breast. We let it go another 20 minutes. It's temping 175 in the thigh, 165 in the breast. This bird is done. Now y'all come in and check this out, man. It's got great color. That's what I love about this rotisserie. It's dripping on them coals, getting us all that good natural chicken flavor. Time to get it up. So we're just gonna grab our skewer, slide this baby out. Put it right over a pan. We're gonna get it on the cutting board, let it rest for about 10 or 15 minutes just to cool off long enough to handle. And we're gonna dive in and try this bird. So of course we got our hot gloves on. We're gonna get this thing off the spit. Just take your time. Careful, cause these rods will be hot. Slide them off, get them out of the way. Cut our strings right here on our legs, just like so. Carefully slide the bird off, because I know she's tender. Go right on our plate. We always joke about taking pride in your cue. Have you some little poultry herbs just around. That way that green pop, just to present her up. Make this bird look as good as you want it to. So while we got the bird resting on the cutting board, cooling off, we're gonna go over what we did to get here. Just as a quick recap, we started with about a four pound whole chicken. Didn't do anything to it. Got our SNS kettle set up with that rotisserie on it and seasoned it on the spit while it was turning. That allowed us to get a good even color rub, sprayed it with duck fat so the skin browned up good. At about an hour and 20 minutes, she temped out. She's ready to get her off and let it rest. And that's what we got, a beautiful bird. It's gonna have great skin. Looks like it's packed full of moisture. Smells great. I can't wait to try this bird. So we let this bird rest. We gotta go in and give it a try. We're gonna go right in here, cut this breast off. Just like that, packed full of moisture. Check that out. Beautiful chicken. We got other ideas to use this chicken for, but we gotta at least try this breast. I mean, it looks too good not to. Skin's cutting good. Check it out. That ain't a moist bird. I don't know what is. See if it's all good. Good, rich flavor. Bite through skin. Mm. This is finna be in my chicken and dressing. It's gonna be one heck of a dressing. This bird right here is on point. If y'all got any questions, shoot us a message on Facebook or Instagram. And as always, like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see y'all next time.